Assassin's Creed is set to make a huge comeback in the near future. Now, this isn't the first time that Ubisoft has had to put the franchise on the bench and kind of think about where they want to go next. What started out as a stealth action game with an interesting historical story, well, that rapidly turned into a churned out generic action series with the quality slowly but surely going down, according to most people. But then if you ask me, I liked Valhalla and I absolutely loved uh, Odyssey, but that's a video for another day. I mean, there's bright spots for other people, Black Flag, but Assassin's Creed in the first half of the 2010s, it was pretty hit or miss. This resulted in Ubisoft putting the series on the shelf, going back to the drawing board and basically rebooting the franchise as an open world RPG. They kept the historical settings, the elaborate stories, they tied that into modern era, but the gameplay, well, it was completely overhauled to accompany the new scope of the games. Welcome to Video Game Leaks, everybody. Today, uh, we are talking about everything Assassin's Creed Infinity. That's right. First of all, that's just a cool name. And uh, we're going to dive into what we know and what we think we know. Now, Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla, they were all well received, give or take five points on Metacritic. But it's no secret that these haven't stuck with the community as much as the older games did. There's been a loud cry for a return to classic Assassin's Creed gameplay. Uh, and that brings us to where we are today. Maybe we can find a middle ground that makes everybody happy. Do me a favor. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you have those notifications on. Thank you so much for 41,000 subscribers. Now, through a series of leaks and vague official announcements by Ubisoft themselves, we do know there are currently three Assassin's Creed games in development. There's a new mainline entry internally called Assassin's Creed Rift that is allegedly going to take us back to more old school stealth action gameplay. A lot of people will be happy about that in the community. There's allegedly a remake or updated remaster of the OG game, the original game, Assassin's Creed 1 in development, which is likely a way to pull those old school fans back into the series as well. It's like a one-two punch. It makes sense. It's smart. But perhaps the most interesting game in development is also the one that Ubisoft has said the most about. A live service game called Assassin's Creed Infinity. Now, Ubisoft quietly confirmed the game in a blog post, and news of the announcement was mixed to say the least. There was always going to be people upset at the announcement of a new live service game, and rightfully so. And turning what used to be a single-player stealth game into a big ongoing live service experience? That's a tough pill to swallow for some. Not me. I'm excited. But the leaks have come out since then, and actually, I, I think everybody should get excited. I'm skeptical, as always, with new live service games, but... Ubisoft knows how unpopular live service games are with the internet nowadays, and they're seemingly doing a lot of really cool things to try and keep the fans on their good side. And let's see how many times we say the words live service on the video today. Now, according to insiders, the game is still early into development, which explains why Ubisoft decided to quietly confirm it in a blog post instead of making a huge fanfare announcement. It's probably a few years out. Jason Schreier of Bloomberg says he doesn't expect the game and draw, I mean, to drop until 2024 at the absolute earliest, which that lines up with the usual Ubisoft development cycles. Mainline Assassin's Creed games, they usually take two to three years in the oven before coming out, so if the game is in early development right now, it's probably not going to be in our hands for another two years. That's okay. Insiders have also suggested that Ubisoft isn't going to make any big statements about the game until after the next mainline AC game is out, which that should be getting revealed any day now as it's expected to come out by the end of this year we will probably be getting something super super soon the new game again internally referred to as assassin's creed rift will reportedly be smaller scale than the recent open world titles and focus on basim from assassin's creed valhalla so kind of an extension kind of a dlc in a way the gameplay is expected to be more stealth based and the level design is reportedly going to be an effort to bring the series back to its roots I'm excited about it, but I'm more excited for the OG community that likes it. Me personally, I like the open world vibe. I do, and I know I'm probably in the minority with that. The point is, the game still hasn't been revealed yet, and it's supposed to be here before the end of the year. It's currently at the end of June, so Ubisoft doesn't have much time left to announce Rift, let alone Infinity. So with the clock ticking on the next installment, I think Rift is going to get all the attention from Ubisoft for the rest of this year. They don't want Infinity to steal any of its thunder, especially when the game is still so far away. Now, I'd expect Ubisoft to be radio silent on Infinity for the rest of this year in order to get the hype train chugging for Rift. Perhaps we'll get a trailer for Infinity in late 2023, but until then, you just have to go off the leaks and early insider reports, and there's actually quite a few to talk about. Now, in a more extended look at Assassin's Creed Infinity, the Ubisoft CEO himself said, it will not be free to play. So it's going to be a premium live service, likely more uh, 
like The Division or earlier versions of Destiny 2. However, unlike those games, Infinity will feature uh, multiple time periods, multiple locations that will evolve over time. That sounds really cool if it's done right. It will basically be a whole bunch of Assassin's Creed games tied into one package with some kind of overlapping story or possibly a massive overworld that connects them all together. Ubisoft CEO stated, this game is going to have a lot of narrative elements in it and it's going to be a very innovative game, but it will have what players already have in all the other Assassin's Creed games, all the elements they love right from the start. So it's going to be a massive game, but with lots of elements that already exist in the games that we published in the past, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm, drink, I'm drinking it. I am. This makes it sound like there's actually going to be a lot of elements directly ported from previous Assassin's Creed games and then expanded upon in the future, possibly with new levels or mechanics to update them. Now, the game is in development by a joint team of Ubisoft Montreal and Ubisoft Quebec. Once again, it's a huge project. Montreal is basically the go-to AC studios. They previously worked on AC 1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelations 3, 4, Unity, Origins, Valhalla, Quebec. Well, they previously worked on Syndicate and Odyssey. So they have a couple of solid games under their belt, and they have good experience with the franchise. Now, Ubisoft also recently rehired Darby McDevitt, a narrative director who wrote a ton of the franchise's lore, although it's been unclear which game he's actually working on. Some insiders have claimed that McDevitt will be writing Infinity's narrative, coming up with a way to tie in all the different time periods and gameplay mechanics together, although it's possible that he's instead working on Rift. Now, a live service game needs a good narrative director, so the future of that series can be made clear, so I wouldn't be shocked at all if the whole reason Ubisoft brought him back was for Infinity. Industry insider Tom Henderson revealed earlier this year that the main hub for the game is expected to be Animus itself, which will obviously allow the player to travel wherever they want in history, but there's going to have to be some kind of narrative uh, for it. It was also recently pointed out that Ubisoft Quebec is currently looking for a new project lead programmer and associate producer for the Assassin's Creed franchise. They didn't specify the game, but we've got three to choose from. My point is... It's very possible the game is still extremely early in development as the narrative aspects are still being ironed out, which is okay. The concept itself, exciting, solid. The gameplay mechanics, they seem established and clear, but the web that holds all these things together is what's taking the most development time, which that makes sense for a game of this size. Now, it's also unclear if AC Infinity is going to be a multiplayer experience or if it's going to actually be a single-player live service game. There really hasn't been that many single-player live service titles as not many gamers actually took to it. Now, I will admit that an ever-expanding Assassin's Creed game, great idea, especially if it manages to satisfy both old and new fans. But a single-player service game, it's going to be a hard sell. It is, to be fair. That's more of a concern with the game concept as a whole as opposed to the creative criticism, but I'm sure you guys get what I'm saying. Infinity sounds like an awesome idea when you think about it, but people, they have a really sour taste in their mouth when it comes to awful live service games, so the team, uh, they're going to have to do their homework. Now, that brings us to a leak that came out not too long ago. According to Reddit users claiming to be a Ubisoft employee, the business model has actually shifted to free-to-play. Now, the publisher is still deciding on pricing of everything. Apparently, the game was originally going to be a premium title full of content and then with extensive DLC in the future. But now, it's been changed to free-to-play with lots of paid DLC. And this will likely impact how much content the base version of the game ships with. I mean, I'm imagining the game launching with a level or two of five to six time periods, but then you have to pay for the rest. Then you just continue paying for more levels and time periods. I don't know. I don't like it. I really hope Ubisoft reconsiders it. I do. I think most people would much rather pay for a giant Assassin's Creed game with all the content, all the time periods, everything, and then you can drop an additional 20 or 30 for an expansion if you want, assuming the expansions are as big as the leaks claim. I just don't think a free-to-play model is going to work for a game like this. I, uh, players are going to get frustrated with how much of the game they're going to have to pay for. Yes, it would be nice to pay for the stuff you want and skip the time periods you don't care about, I'm just worried about how expensive the game is going to be over time. I am. That same Reddit leaker also claimed that at launch, the game is going to feature five settings and time periods on day one, and then the post-launch content will be released as a seasonal model. But the leaker only seemed to have intel on three of them, so take it with a grain of salt. But we're going to go over them really quick. The first launch setting is allegedly going to be Rome in the year 1502, and the story will tie into Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. That's exciting. Second setting... Occupied France 1943, and it's actually going to feature guns with shooting mechanics pulled from Watch Dogs Legions. Okay. 
This story will have you playing as a group of assassins helping the Second Armored Division liberate Paris during the Second World War. That that's pretty cool. The third and final launch setting is reportedly China in the year 1634 and will have you playing as a local peasant in a rebellion against the Ming Dynasty, although the leaker admitted they don't know much about the story or how the assassins would factor in. Now, the leaker closed this info dump by saying the remaining two time periods are yet to be determined, but they expect five different ones to launch. I, I, hope, they, I hope they can pull this off. This could be huge. I mean, give me your opinions. What do you think about all the info I just went over? What do you guys think? Are you excited? Are you not? Are you on the fence? Let me know. We'll keep you posted if we hear anything else, and I'll see you soon.